Welcome into the Graham Miller Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with head men's soccer coach Graham Miller. And coach, before we get to soccer, congratulations to you and your wife on your beautiful baby girl. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we yeah, had faith. Uh, my wife uh, delivered faith last week and, um, and during preseason, which was a, you know, interest, the first preseason it's ever been <laughs> like that. Um, but yeah, it was uh, very exciting. And, you know, I just, you know, want to give a shout out to my amazing wife, um, Amanda, for everything she does for, for the baby. And she's obviously home taking care of faith while I'm, you know, coaching games and running practices. So um, she's doing a great job. Shout out to her, too, for uh, delivering right before the season starts. Yeah, no, it was good that it was three weeks early, you know, so yeah, I yeah, didn't want to mess up any games, so it was good that, you know, we did it during preseason. So talk about some soccer, a little bit of a roller coaster weekend for you. You get the 2-1 the come from behind win over Washington to start the season, and then kind of let one slip 3-2 in over t- double overtime versus Hampton-Sydney. Well, the big thing was just to get that first win on the board. You know, these guys have had some tough years in the past, and, you know, um, we've talked about it in a you know, um, preview. And, and Washington was going to be a tough game to start with. I mean, they uh, made the Centennial playoffs last year, so they were in the top five in a very tough conference. And, you know, so we, we I thought we did really well um, in that game after we kind of woke up a little bit. You know, the first half we were... Um, showed them too much respect and then the guys just came at them second half and I think we earned that win and, and we outworked them second half and you know great performance by the boys I thought you know everybody did a you know great job and then a little bit of a letdown against hand in Sydney I think it was just you know individual mistakes that cost us I mean I think we were the better team um, you know we can tell that by the shot count and all the other stats and, and watching video I think we were definitely the better team in that game on Sunday and I just you know if we just you know focused a little bit better and um, you know not had the mistakes we had we could easily have won that game two nothing and, and you know being two and oh right now a lot of youth on the team and a lot of new players Christian Batita gets that you know kind of magical goal there and uh, Jay Smith Jordan Fields talk about the youth on the team yeah, if you look at it, I mean, that first game against uh, Washington, we only had, you know, three seniors, and I think, um, you know, the rest were um, sophomores and freshmen. So, yeah, there's a very good freshman class come in. The sophomores are buying in as well right away, and the seniors have been great. We've got the leadership from, you know, Eric Dorsey and Andrew Catalana. Um, I mean, CJ, that's, you know, I joked with him after the tailgate. It was like, you're probably never going to score a goal like that in your life again. But, you know, he hit that so sweet. I hope he does. Um, and we were kind of giving him, you know, giving him some heat for, you know, running over to the fans and milking it instead of running over <laughs> over to his teammates but that's all right but uh you know the, those guys are really doing well you know you know Jordan Fields scores on um you know you know the goal Jay's obviously got off the, on the board as well um CJ and you know it was a nice penalty by Elias as well one of you know player that's had some injury issues but he you know stepped up to you know cool and calm so yeah the youth on the team and, and you know our you know our back line um you know we've got two center backs Dylan Hawley and Jev and Lee who are um you know who are freshmen as well so it's a very young team and and I think that's Maybe what kind of happened on uh, Sunday in that game against Hamden Sydney? We made some, you know, young team mistakes, but I think we can we can learn from that and grow from that. And I think these guys are, you know, definitely key for the future. Looking ahead, you're on the road for two games. You open. Uh, at Gettysburg and then on Saturday go to York so just talk about those two matchups yeah another you know two tough games you know this schedule when I looked at the schedule ahead of time and you know the schedule that I inherited um, from the former coach definitely the, the, there's nothing easy about it you know it's and, and that's okay because that's the way I always did it with a women's team you know if you're going to you know if you're going to be in a conference with Messiah and like homing and you know teams that are nationally ranked you got to play a tough non-conference schedule to, to to prepare for those teams so these two teams this weekend you know they're both both 2-0. and Gettysburg uh, had two good wins over St. Mary's and Salisbury. Um, so we're going to work hard for that game. And then obviously we turn around and, you know, we don't get any rest. And, and then we're playing York, who's 2-0, and who had two big wins over Carroll and, um, and then a 5-2 win over Catholic. So both these teams this weekend and both at their locations, you know, we're on the road for the first time this season. It's going to be, you know, another test for the guys. But, you know, we're, we're ready for it. We're, we're not scared of anybody. And, you know, I hope the guys are confident and and you know, don't give them too much respect and we just play our game. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in those two two games and come back with two victories. Thank you very much, Sam. He's Graham Miller. I'm Sam Murray. You've been watching The Graham Miller Show.